it's time for women to rise. It's time for women to manage the world, in fact, the universe. You must have a purpose in life. You must know why you were born. And you must use your personality to serve the purpose of your soul. When you connect the dot, you would understand right away why you have to be here. I love strong women. I love when you strive, when you fight for it, when you have the leadership in you. And that's how we defy the beauty. Not just the walk, not just the look, but the way you talk, but more important here is the brain behind your talk. Yes! Today I came with a very inspiring story of Anne, who is a Thai businesswoman and chief executive officer of JKN Global Group. This Thai transgender business mogul Anne Jackafong has become the first woman in the 71-year history of the global beauty pageant Miss Universe organization. According to NBC, the news, which was shared by Anne's company on October 26, represents a phenomenal milestone for the multimillionaire, with the deal costing an estimated $20 million. With her stunning, model-like looks and 6 million Instagram followers, the 43-year-old has been making waves in the business world for quite some time. According to NBC, and has even appeared in local versions of Project Runway and Shark Tank in her home country. She is also known for promoting transgender awareness in Thailand through the Life Inspired for Transsexual Foundation, which advocates for transgender rights. And claimed in an interview with the Bangkok Post that before her transition, she attended an all-male Thai school where she was bullied by her classmate and even sexually harassed by her teacher because of her gender identity. As a result, she dropped out and began working at a gas station to support herself. She eventually left her home country to study in Sydney, Australia. According to Anne, she has always felt like a woman, but her parents were not supportive of her. She claimed that as a child, she would dress up in her mother's clothes and pretend to be a girl. Despite her parents' disapproval, she began her transition while studying in Sydney. She chose to keep her original, deep baritone voice, which she considers a part of her identity. Despite having dropped out of school in Thailand to study in Australia and has a diverse educational background. According to Elite Plus magazine, she has a bachelor's degree in international relations from Bond University in Australia, a certificate in real estate development from Chulalongkorn University, and a certificate from the Thai Institute of Directors Association's Director Accreditation Program. According to the article, Anne returned to Bangkok after graduation to help manage her family's video rental business while working toward her goal of starting her own business. Despite having a difficult childhood and beginning her career at a gas station, Anne is now the CEO of JKN Global Media, Thailand's top content management and distribution company, according to GMA Network. She did not stop there. According to the Bangkok Post, Anne expanded JKN and began selling health and beauty products, offering more than 50 items, as well as acquiring drink factories and other digital news channels. According to the article, she has led her business to be involved in content distribution, beverages, food supplements, beauty and consumer products, news licensing, and ad sponsorship. Anne was named the first Thai and first transgender woman to receive the Asia Media Woman of the Year Award at the Content Asia Summit in Singapore in 2019, according to the Bangkok Post. The same article stated that she also helped bring Indian series to Thai TV, which earned her the nickname Queen of India. According to CNN Philippines, the Thai mogul has taken a giant step forward in her entrepreneurship by fully acquiring the Miss Universe organization, with Anne claiming the title of owner and helming the beauty pageant. According to the news site, she paid an estimated $20 million for the company from IMG Worldwide. Prior to that, IMG purchased the company from former U.S. President Donald Trump. JKN stated that it expects to generate the majority of its revenue from merchandise and licensing fees, broadcasting fees, and ticket sales. Of course, an illicit reputation attracts celebrity friends. Anne is friends with actor and model Clint Bond, according to GMA Network. 
During a JK and Gala dinner, she also met popular Filipino actors Derek Monasterio, Ken Chan, Asia's multimedia star Alden Richards, and award-winning actor Dennis Trillo. She has also been photographed with actor Patrick Itzel and Guan Quemdi. Think again if you thought Anne was too busy for romance. According to Conan, she has a British boyfriend, whom she met in 2013, but there is no other public information about him. Anne also has two surrogate children. She spoke about the difficulties of having children through surrogacy in Thailand in a Thai interview conducted by a JKN official, explaining that she had to fly to Greece to make it happen. She revealed that her two adorable children cost her approximately $800,000 in total. According to GMA Network, Anne is one of Southeast Asia's wealthiest trans women. Thanks to her massive business empire, her Instagram posts show off her lavish lifestyle, which includes Aston Martin cars and private jets. According to Forbes in 2020, she was the world's third richest transgender person at the time, with a net worth of US$110 million. This puts her wealth ahead of Caitlyn Jenner, a former Olympic athlete and TV personality, and Lana Wachowski one of the directors of the legendary Hollywood trilogy The Matrix. Now, the inspiring story ends here. Hope you find story interesting. Write your thoughts about her in comment box.